sending in your artwork with Pantone colors that actually matter and your printers can use. There's a dispute between Pantone and Adobe. There's a free tone solution. I've looked at several different options and it's free. So I'm gonna go through a couple of options and kind of tell you what we're experiencing as a printer receiving artwork from uh, artists and how we're dealing with it. Pantone and Adobe, they've gotten to a little disagreement. What we used to have as far as accessibility when adding swatches, we used to have Pantone color books that we could add. We still have a couple, but they're basically useless. The CMYK coded and the CMYK uncoded, your printers do not have books that correlate with these numbers. So they're gonna give you P numbers is what we call them, the P numbers for CMYK Pantone. And those don't mean anything to your printer. Uh, the metallic coated, it's you can still use that. And as long as they have a metallic coated Pantone book, the printers can match those. There's a solution that Pantone has provided called Pantone Connect. It's subscription based. It's not highly rated as far as stars. It's got a half a star out of five. At best, it's kind of awkward to use. At worst, it can actually give you the wrong color. And I'll do another video walking through my issues with Pantone Connect. But for now, what we're shooting for is a solution and Freetone is a pretty good solution. It only has 1,280 colors. Pantone now they're up to 1867. So 1,867 solid colors that Pantone has. Uh, it's a difference of 587 colors. So you're 587 short of the newest colors that Pantone has released. However, Freetone covers all the rest of them and it does a great job. Here is an example of how close Freetone is versus the Pantone Select. So I've used my Pantone Connect option to convert these P numbers, which were useless to a printer, to Pantone colors. And this is what it gave us. Um, get this out of the way. Freetone has selected these numbers. So what I've done is I've selected these three colors they were right here. I've just taken them over and shown you how close Freetone is to the Pantone colors. Now sometimes it'll hit dead on. They'll pick 185 as a Pantone color and 185 red will be Freetone as well. In this example, none of them are exactly the same number, but a printer can match any of these colors from Pantone and any of these colors from Freetone. They've just replaced Pantone with the word simpleton but the numbers are the same. If you look at the Pantone Connect option, uh, they're the same exact color. So if you type in 185 red, you're gonna find 185 red here too. The difference is the 185, the simpleton, the free tone option works just like it used to work in Illustrator. With Pantone Connect, I wanna pick a color. Search 185. You actually click on those little three dots that are nearly invisible and add that to your swatches. So it will add 185 red to your swatches. So the simpleton option, 185 red, you can add that as well. And you can see they're almost identical. If I make two swatches overlapping slightly, Make this one Pantone 185. There's a slight difference, but on the computer screen, that little slight difference is not gonna matter. And really what you're looking for is to be able to get the number to your printer that way they can match it on a Pantone book. And that completes the Pantone matching system. Computer interface that we're dealing with here, that's part one but for the system to work, your printer has to have a book that they can match the colors to, and that's how the whole system works. So just wanted to share that with you. Free tone, free solution to send good usable artwork to your printers when you're using spot colors.